if you're ready welcome to another tuesday with the lockdown squad we still locked in the word today we will be talking about the reason for christ you know today in the morning my family and i did a bible study and we read romans 9 where god was saying that or, Paul, or the writer who was saying that god rejected esau while he was still in the womb and loved jacob so um and they were both in the same womb same parents they weren't born yet but Esau was rejected and Jacob was loved and this just shows the grace of knowing Christ the fact that our hearts are still soft towards God is an amazing grace you know and so if you are given an opportunity to hear the word of God and your heart softens and is not hardened that is grace you were chosen do not take it for granted do not take it for granted even if you are saved because it is only by grace so today the squad will be inviting you to come to Christ. If you are hearing the word of God, do not harden your hearts because God is still yet to be found and you have been given an opportunity to come to him. So come. Hi there. Um, what I'd like to share is, you know, when I was younger, when I was seven years old, I lost both my parents. And as a result, I had serious issues around love, around belonging, around acceptance and I looked for all those things in the world and I was never fulfilled. I just had a big void that was never getting filled and so in 2017 I actually went to the church that I was invited to multiple times but nothing um, <laughs> had happened but this time around I just received a message of love of grace and mercy and forgiveness and it led me to repentance i confessed with my heart and believed in my i confessed with my mouth and believed in my heart that jesus is lord and i received him to be my lord and savior and i now found all those things that i had been looking for i found a perfect love a love that didn't require anything of me i found acceptance and i found belonging now I know as young women, we struggle with this to some degree. And if you are listening to this and it's resonating with you, I'd like to invite you that not just the women, the guys as well, that if this message or what I've shared has spoken to your heart, make this confession, this simple prayer, and just watch your life transform. In Galatians 3 verse 13, the word of God says, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, having become a curse for us, for it is written, curse is everyone who hangs on the tree. Um, in Romans 3 verse 23, the word of God says, for all have sinned and have fallen short of the glory of God. And again, in Romans 6 verse 23, the Bible says, For wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. So we were cursed, and our curse was that we die. The, the, the Bible says, For wages of sin is death. But God being a good God, He sends Jesus to come die for us. So the only thing that we are then supposed to do is to follow Jesus, repent, change our ways and accept him as our Lord and Savior. Um, in Romans 8 verse 1, the Bible says, For there is no condemnation for those that are in Christ Jesus. So the only way we are not going to be condemned is to be in Christ Jesus. How do you then be in, 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 in Jesus Christ? You have to confess it with your mouth. Uh, believe it in your heart that he is the Lord and Savior. Recently, there was a funeral at home and I realized that being in Christ does not only help you in terms of when you die, you are in, 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 in the safe hands, but it comes with so much peace. Like it comes with peace that surpasses understanding. Why am I saying this? Uh, as we know, it's lockdown. So some people in terms of payments, in terms of re receiving their salary, it's a bit disturbed because some people you work you get paid you don't work you don't get paid so with me i'm still getting my salary and because i am the only one who is currently still receiving salary everything in with the funeral that had to do with finances had to fall on me and i really thought i was going to have a breaking point but i did not instead i had so much peace peace that surpassed all understanding and i would then ask myself how was this possible you see this stick if it's one stick it is very easy to break it but the moment you pile up 
more of this it then becomes difficult to break so same thing as being in christ when you are in christ you are not standing alone but you are standing with christ it does not mean that you're not going to have face situations but at least you have someone to fight the battles for you the father the son and the holy spirit are one they are god manifesting in the holy spirit manifesting in the son jesus christ and manifesting in the father who gave who's in love you know so the reason for christ is so that we can know the love of the father so that we can accept him into our hearts and be joined and united with him as he crucifies the sin within us that he did on the cross of calvary and now because of that crucifixion we can no longer be controlled by sin the reason for christ is so that we can accept eternal life in the kingdom of god god is calling you to himself reconciling us back to himself through christ jesus our savior our lord and our king so come